It's your boy G Miles. Today we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing some fried cabbage since you know I've been wanting to do this video for so long, so check it out. Yep, that's the cabbage right here. Since it's a little dirty though, because my mom bought it. I don't know why she bought some dirty cabbage, but I'm gonna taste some of the stuff out or something like that. And also here's the beef sausage because trying to cut back on pork. And also the seasons, seasons that I don't need just in case. If the cabbage is like too bland, since you know I'm gonna be frying it. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get started on the cabbage. Well, and also the sausage. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you take some of the stuff out of the cabbage, well, I take most of the parts out except this. I'm gonna just leave it how it is since I just don't wanna get get my channel killed and all the stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna do now just start cutting up the cabbage yeah, like that. So it's gonna be a long process. It's so good. That is a that is so dirty. So yeah. Once you cut up the cabbage like you now just chop it up or you chop it up all, all you want to. Yeah like that. Yeah since we now have to take the stem part off which is right here. Yeah, now that's gonna be a lot of hard work. And I'm gonna keep you updated once you get all the cabbage cut. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your cabbage finally cut up, all I need now is just put the cabbage, cabbages in the bowl since, yeah, that one is no good. So yeah, and all I need now is just put it in the bowl right now. Since I gotta sort off the cabbage peaches, pieces that are no good and rotten. So, so yeah. And that's what I'm doing. Plus, I'm gonna leave the stem out. Because we don't have a CD because we don't even need that. So, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you there but once I got all the cabbage in the bowl. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your cabbages in the bowl, and what we're gonna do now, just finally sort or you start sorting out the cabbage pieces. Which is no good because we can't use that because I just want my cabbage to be, to be all nice and clean, you know? Because my grandma had cooked cabbage before since I had her cabbage and, cabbage and plus it's super good and stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna do now just take some of the stuff off and put it in, into the stem bowl right here. So yeah, just keep on doing it until you see no more round pieces like this one. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get all the all your pieces sorted out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you finally, I got your cabbage sorted out by using this bar right here, which I'm showing you get from this bar right here. Yes, there are like a couple of moldy pieces in there. Yes, I do, I do not want to cook that, so throw it out. So yeah, and I'm gonna do now just finally rinse off the cabbage. Well, maybe and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I finally get started on rinsing the cabbage out. Hey guys, I'm back. Once you got got a strainer and get get uh, get to the sink, all I'm gonna do now just finally rinse the cabbage like that. Yeah, all I'm gonna do now just finally rinse the cabbage. That way, so. Any dirty stuff or any other stuff that is on the cabbage oils, I'm doing. I think when you're not supposed to wash the cabbage. Well, I'm gonna rinse them out just in case. And so, so yeah. Okay, once you rinse your cabbage out, I want to do. I'm gonna do now. Just let this drain out, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get started on um, cutting up the sausages. Hey guys, I'm back. So. Once you got all your sausages out on the cutting board, but don't worry though, I finally rinse it. You can rinse the cutting board out. All right, I do now, just finally get the chopping on the sausages like that. Now you just keep on cutting them into their the right size like these. But hey, just doing my job. I'm just making that video, you know? Yeah. 
What is all it takes is a little bit work, you know? And there you have it. Once you got all got the sauce just cut up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be down, just keep on cutting them off camera, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get through cutting up all these sausages. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got all your sausages cut up, all you do now is finally put them in the bowl. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Finally put all the sausages in the bowl. So all that stuff is in the bowl. You know, the sausages. Okay, once you've got them in the bowl. And there you have it. All sausages, sausages cut up and be ready to be cooked and stuff. So, yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get a pot out. I mean, a pot out. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, once you got a pot out, and I saw a lid right here. It says, you know, I'm going to rinse that, that off. All you do now is just turn your stove on to medium heat and let the, we you know, pot heat up for the sausages. And I'm going to keep you updated once the pot is, is heated up enough. Hey, guys, I'm back. So once your pot has been heated up enough, all you do now is just finally put the sausages in the pot so I'm good. Okay, once you got your sausages in the pot, all you do now is just put, oh, you'll see, put the lid on and let's and let the sausages cook. And I'm gonna keep it once the sausages are still cooking. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your sausages are still cooking, getting to oh yeah, once your sausages are still cooking, since we all I don't know burn them up too much, and there you have it. But it's getting there a little, but not quite. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do now, just let them cook just a little more. And then, we, then we'll be done and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna be updated once the sausages are done cooking. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your sausages, I mean sausages has been done cooking. Turn it off just a little bit. Once you turn, the pot off. All you do now, just finally put our sausages in the bowl right here. Yeah, just keep on doing that until you see no more sausages. Since I gotta hook something, the cabbage into the pot and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you did it once you get all the sausages out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your sausages in the bowl, and there you have it, some good sausage. sausage. Now just put a paper towel over it. That way so any bugs and stuff won't get in there. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get back to my pot since I gotta put the cabbage on. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you get to your pot all you gotta do now, just turn the heat back on. And start putting the cabbage on that. Since we know I'm gonna put too much on there. Or else it's gonna be a little hard for you to cook. Add a cabbage at one time. Okay, once you got your, once you got the half of half your cabbage in there, all you do you now just cook, cook this down a little. So yeah, and then okay, you put your lid on and stuff. So yeah, so the cabbage can cook a little, and I'm gonna keep you a bit once I get some more cabbage in there. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your cabbages has still cooking. Okay, let me tell that the have a have a cabbage has been cooking down. So yeah, that was that was only has some more room to put the final thing of cabbage in there. So yeah, and now just finally put the cabbage on right now. Mmm, don't want to waste any. Okay, once you've got your last thing of cabbage in here. But what we're gonna do now, just kind of get this a quick stir. That way, so the cabbage will absorb, absorb the thing from the heat, you know? So, yeah. That's all I'm gonna stir up. So, yeah. And what we're gonna do now, just let the final cabbage cook 
and I'm gonna keep you updated once it's still cooking. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your cabbages has been still cooking, gang bang till it's starting to cook down the cabbage. Since we know it's fried cabbage, you know. Yeah, once your cabbage has been cooking down some more, I'm gonna manage that a teaspoon and a half thing of vinegar. Yeah, yeah that's all the vinegar, the vinegar that, I'm gonna, that I'm gonna add. Once you add the vinegar, all you have to do now is just stir it up. That way so the cabbage, cabbage will absorb, absorb with more flavor though, you know? Yeah, since I'm cooking fried cabbage for the second time. Okay, once you got your vinegar stirred up with the cabbage, all you do now is just put the lid on and let, it, let the cabbage cook, cook some more. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get started with the season. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your cabbages has been still cooking, since you know, let me tell that the cabbage has been cooking down some more. We're almost getting there, but not quite yet. So what I'm gonna do now just finally add our seasoning. But to get started, all you do now just add sloppy mama. Like that. Once you add sloppy mama, just a pinch of garlic salt. And also some garlic powder. So yeah. And of course some pepper. And last but not least, is some minced onion. Yes, that's the key of flavor. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you add the added your seasons to your cabbage, all you do now just give it a stir. Mm, hope I didn't try to make this stuff too salty. Here's this fried cabbage. Yes, I cooked it, cooked it from the grease when the sausage just got to cook. Okay, once you got everything stirred, all we do now just finally add our sausage. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I add the sausage, sausages back in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your seasonings and stuff mixed in to your cabbage, the last thing we gotta do, just finally add, add the beef sausages back in. Once you added the sausages back in, all you do now just mix it up, you know, until everything is combined with the cabbages that are fried. And just give it a good stir. And voila, that's how you do it. Once you got everything stirred in, finally put the lid back on so the cabbage was. We'll keep on cooking and I'll keep it there once the sock I mean once the cabbage has done been done cooking. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your cabbages has been still cooking, and there you have it. Looks like the cabbage oh yeah, the cabbage is all done. Since you know that's how you cook fried cabbage, you know. Yeah, check out that cabbage. All fried up still. Cabbage just has to cook through. All you do now, just finally turn that joker off. And keep the lid on. And like let it cool down or something like that. But I'm gonna move it back though, so yeah. And I'm gonna give you a date once the cabbage has been cooling down. Hey, got some bag, mama the tree. There you go. That's how you that's how you make a mean fried cabbage, you know. And all I do now, just ooh, check it, check it out. It's so good. Pour some cabbage in there. So I gotta say something for my family. Hope I do. And there you go. And that's how you do it. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once. Oh okay, yeah, once I get to my bow. Hey guys, I'm back. So, once you got your bowl of fried cabbage in the bowl, 
and I got me a jib, got me some Jim cornbread. Just go along with the cabbage. It's got some yellow loaf waiting. Let's give this fried cat cabbage a taste test in three, two, one. Man, that's some good cabbage piece. I put my foot in some fried cabbage and stuff, and stuff you know? And I'm gonna keep it with it. Let's get through my fried cabbage. Hey guys, I'm back. So the fried cabbage that I had, sorry for sudden so much. It's super good, it has a lot of flavor and all that stuff. I didn't try to make that stuff too salty and stuff. So a whole bottle of cabbage eating my meat. And check out the rest of the fried cabbage. Mm-mm-mm, yum, it's so good. Yeah, and that's how you do the fried cabbage. And that's a wrap on fried cabbage. And also that video is that video is gonna go up in like with you know around this month of April since today is April and all that stuff. So yeah, way too if you're new to the channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell if you get a chance. Well guys, it's been your boy Jim Miles Peace. I hope you enjoy that fried cabbage video.